MTD Network are back at A&M EDM today. A lot of companies or a lot of people that watch our videos might, might look at your business and think it's all about EDM machining. But this, this is very different here. This, there's a lot of precision machining going on as well. Yes, I'd agree. Predominantly people view us as like basically an EDM uh, facility, which not, as I say, about two years ago we bought this site and we've invested approximately four million pounds since then. Uh, machines, plant, um, tooling, etc. And then obviously staff, retrain staff. So we've now become uh, a core business, basically, uh, EDM and CNC machine. And what can you do? What, what if, if a buyer looks at your business and says, right, why are we going to give these guys work? What, what's your skill set? We've got a broad, a broad spectrum of skill sets across the range. To different uh, People come from different areas. Um, generally, we, we get a job sent in here when nobody else wants to do it. So it gets bounced around the industry and most times it lands with us. So uh, it's our application and, and our, and our uh, philosophy of can do. And, and to, to build a business to this level in, this, in the kind of time frames that you have, there must be a lot of focus on the people, the strategies. Are you a believer in getting the right team? Oh, definitely. Uh, as I you say, your staff, your staff are key. Staff are key, tooling, then machines. No staff, you've got no factory. So you've got to look after your staff, pay them well, uh, and then develop them. And in terms of the markets and the industries that you're machining for or, or you're, you're, uh, you're manufacturing for? Well, we're in the OEM companies. We're working for Formula One. We're working for sort of companies which are putting things in space. Uh, there's some non-disclosure, military stuff we can't discuss, but we're, we're in most pockets. And if someone's watching this and they're thinking, give, give me some evidence of what you've achieved or what you can achieve, is there any anything you're machining or you've machined to that is impressive? Uh, if I doing a full shot, I can show you some of the surface finishes you're attaining on the jobs. Uh, and, and accuracies? And accuracy, sub 10 microns. And, uh, on, on parts, sorry, on parts, which are a metre and a half. Oh, wow. OK, so that made 10 microns and then 10 microns over a metre and a half is a big difference. Different, totally different. As I say, people generally think when they work to a, a block which is, say, 50 mil, and there's 5, 10 microns, they panic. When you make something a metre, it's, exp it's, it's not even twice, it's exponential. And you said to me earlier uh, about you, your, your comment about the bucket and the hole. For our viewers, just tell us that. Oh, yes. As I say, we are viewed sort of thing, because we're not very well known, if you like. But, but basically, we will put a hole in a bucket to someone's on the moon, but it would be the best hole in the bucket you've ever had. Good way to finish. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Thank you very much.